So today let's come back to the Badger. So on the last video I just went through and tried to work out what I could do when you plug some power into it. In this video I want to try and uh, explore some uh, more parts of it, maybe have a look at some of the code that does some of these things. It is a Raspberry Pi 2040, so first of all I'm just going to plug it in and see if there's anything on the onboard flash that's of interest. Let's uh, go into it there. Uh, that's just done a normal boot not a connected boot so I think I hold down I do the hold down the boot hit reset and let go I think yeah all right so there on the screen I've got my rp1 rp2 so no files on that as it stands so let's eject that and let's try and connect to it from funny all right so I think I should be able to if I do stop now will it connect device is busy I don't think I can boot it or anything. And if I just start it again, reset it and then hit the stop button on funny and it looks like I've got a connection to it now. So yeah, so that's good. So we should be able to open this Pico now and see what's in it. Okay, main Python file. Let's uh, grab that. Um, import launcher. All right. <laughs> Not a lot to do there. Uh, let's open another one, see what else is on there. We've got, um, I, I presume that's Wind in the Willows. Let's check. All right, yes, yeah, so that's the Wind in the Willows book. So we could put another ebook on this if we wanted, if we had one. Badge.txt, this is what interests me. Okay, so mus Musselid Inc. H Badger. Right, okay, so that's cool. Let's change this to. Still want to keep Badger, so uh, Badger Inc. And I want to call it Spider Math. Let's change that to subscribe. Um, well, let's save it and reboot it. So if I do a reset now, so that's disconnected off the computer. So hopefully, if, as I've left it a bit, I can now look at the badge and yes. All right. <laughs> Excellent. So can I get my spider math logo into there so let's open that and look in images all right read me files so that's good let's open both of those i think the bin file is probably going to be now i can only open one at a time all right it's not going to let me open that at least open the readme and see what it says we can do with it there's some other python code that will allow me to convert images to it so that's how i could get the picture on there so don't know how I'll get my picture on there. Badger Punk was the uh, the other guy, wasn't he, on the under the image tab? But that's okay. Might be able to work out how to do that. So yeah, even just as a badge using the badge OS, it's got possibilities. So let's just go to Pimeroni site and have a look at this now. And what uh, ah customizing it. So that's what I did. So it looks like to begin with the main program just opens up everything by default and then you can add different bits to override what's already in there that that's how how i read it interesting one is the um how to get your picture on there to change the text edit badge.txt well we did that to change the image you need to convert your images above with the following changes i'm going to pause it there and come back to you and show you how to change this picture Okay, we're back. So I've worked out how to do this. Part of this uh, has been a struggle for me because I decided not to use Photoshop. I decided to use GIMP Online. Let's go to GIMP Online here. I've uploaded that to GIMP. That's my picture as I normally have it. And I can get the image and do scale image will do. And on the Pio Moroni guide, it says it has to be exactly 104 pixels in width and 128 pixels in height so that's what i did with gimp here 104 by 128 and i hit scale and after a bit of faffing it gave me this image so i've opened the folder up again i've done use black and white one pixel palette and hit convert and there's a very dodgy spider map image but that's fine so file and export as badge image ping and just make sure I change that back to ping export that replace 
then exported that image um it's a bit weird on gimp you've probably got your own photo editor that you use but i believe i went to gimp and file manager and then i was able to save that badge image down to my local drive by hitting that download all right so then i popped that where i've got all my other python files stored so i saved it there but there's also um in the instructions it kept on mentioning this examples badger image converter convert pi so i've saved that also to my mac file system where i've got python 3 i don't use it a lot but i've got python 3 installed on that back at the getting started it says when you've got the ping file just run that so let's go to my command line on the mac you'd have to uh, set up python python's available on most things it's said to run this command so convert pi so i saved that convert pi file to my same directory as all my other python files are not onto the pico though because this only runs on the main machine i think so let's run that and there you go save to badge image bin let's have a look and somewhere here there should be badge image bin all right so now let's go to funny and i've got to find a way of copying that badge image i've got to copy it to the root of the file system on this so how do i get to the file system well something i've found out recently i've struggled with trying to get files onto this before i'm sure somebody told me in the comments but i go to view and files and here i get the files that are on the computer in the current directory that i'm in and the files that are on the pico and there's my badge image bin as well as the ping file I started off with. But let's just do badge image bin. And if I do upload to slash, then there it is on my PyPico. And I can check that in the way I used to do it by going open a file. And there's badge image bin. So lovely. So that's put the file on there. Now I've not tried this because we've still got the badger picture on there. So will this look like spider math now? Who knows? Less of a go. So I think I'll do a reset. Then let's go down to the badge. It completely crashes. Let's try again, shall we? So. There. Go to the badge. Badge. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. All right, I did read somewhere that you should, might also need to copy a different badge Python file onto here. So I'm just going to download that and copy it on there as well and see whether that solves it. Here we go. Let's try again. Hey, there you go. So there's the SpiderMath logo on my Badger. And it seemed that I had to copy the badger.os python and the badge.python onto the flash as well for this to work. It might just be that I'm running an older version of this badger firmware because this is the one that I still got and it's obviously a few months later than that. There you go. A uh, really cool little badge which I'm sure uh, lots of people will have lots of fun with. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.